Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Mm. Listen, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to talk to you about, about, well, let's put it like this. If I wanted to talk about last days, end days disasters, floods, earthquakes, demons, the occult, witchcraft, death, war, Judgment, the end. Do you know that many of you would be on the edge of your seat? What you gonna say? But when I talk about things like growth, maturity, holiness, godliness, repentance, righteousness, integrity, love, joy, peace, comfort, compassion, forgiveness, mercy, understanding. Ah, oh, she gonna talk about that again. Now why don't she talk about something juicy? I wanna hear something juicy. Let me go check out one of my other channels. The Bible says that many will heap to themselves itching ears. They're not itching to hear the truth. They're itching to hear something sensational. We are so Hollywood conditioned that basics of life, the foundations of life to us are totally insignificant. Boring. Why? How have we allowed the world to make us lukewarm toward the things of God? How have we allowed that? I remember one day one of my relatives was running to the window. Buddy, Pat, come look. There's a fire down the street. I mean, they were almost running down the street to see the horrors. Because people are given to blood, guts, drama. Ah. That's interesting. But things of God, maturity, stability, insight, wisdom, understanding. Oh, here we go again. Why is that? See, when you find yourself in that place, you almost, you really have to ask God for an adjustment. He has to go in and do a, um, an overhaul, so to speak. It's time for a tuna, an oil change. You need a new fresh anointing. You need a new hunger for the things of God. You need <clears throat> a hunger for for. God and his righteousness. You need to hunger for the word. You need to hunger for God's presence. You need to long to be around the people of God. It should give you a high. But no, what gives you a high is clicking that remote and watching them kill, kill, kill. That's right, get them. That's right, I'd do that. What are you going to do? All I say that to say is, let's examine ourselves and see if we really be in the faith, as the Bible would say it. Bad English, but that's the way the Bible says it. Are you in the faith? Are you really in the faith? Or are you just into church membership and church attendance are you just in the choir are you just into Christian music so you can jam or are you into uh, let's see good juicy preaching that makes you want to jump up and clap but when it comes to cleaning your spirit up cleaning your heart up cleaning up that attitude cleaning up your mindset well, can we talk about something else? I don't 
want to fall asleep. But that's the way we're, we're driven. We're driven to the violence, to the drama, to deaths, to tragedy, disaster, earthquakes, aliens, Nibiru. That's what we want to hear about. I'm sorry to say, you guys, but you go on YouTube and find which channels get the highest hits. The ones that really delve into the word and delve into your character so that you can be a better person and live a true holy life or the ones that are all about the supernatural, the stars and the planets and the new moons and planet X and Judgment Day and the apocalypse, fires, demons, goblins, ghosts. Father, help us. It's just the way it is, y'all. I'm sorry to say it. It really makes me sad to see how many people would prefer all of that over that. 